and welcome back to City Skylines where last time we reinvented ourselves like Madonna and now we have an education problem um, both the city and myself um, so we're gonna have to remedy that now did I place any schools in the ridge I'm so bad at this game that I haven't even come to recognize the buildings as yet. It doesn't look like we did. That's fine, but we do need some solutions, I guess. I guess we need to slam... I guess we can slam a school up there as well. Okay, so that has hurt our monthly budget a little bit but I think it's still tolerable. I wasn't going to build anything on this, this road, but actually it might be a good location for it. It's not blocking anything up in particular and gives us a bit more space for residential. So, what do we do about our industry? Um, I'm thinking it's probably time to begin work on the forestry area up around here. So that's what we're going to do. We can have a bit of character here, I think. So we'll go something like that. And we'll see because I actually want sort of some of the forest area to be accessible to the public but um, that might be better somewhere along here or further around here I mean we are polluting it quite badly at the moment to be fair so we want a new forestry zone I'm good at names. And we want to... Oh. Now this probably alone isn't going to be enough to satisfy demand. But that's... That's okay. Because what we really want is it quite sparse. It's supposed to be sustainable after all. Um... Now, is that okay for water? Not really. That'll have to do, and... Boop. Um, now, how's that going to be for power? Probably not great. So we will run some power lines down, just until things grow. Okay, so it strikes me that we need some commercial going on. And I'm trying to think how to best consolidate that. We've also got a problem with... Buildings going out of business. I'm guessing that's because our industry is too far away to adequately supply. Um, now, how would I best deal with that, I wonder? See, I, I, I am a stickler, I like to keep my industry further away, but that's not really working here, is it? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll sneak a tiny bit of regular industry in here, just a small industrial estate. I'll have to be a separate area so I can manage it later. No, 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 no. Bugger off. So. I don't know what we'll call that yet, but definitely not Grove Park. That could be the to-be-decided district. 
and that's just really to help with the supply situation over here. Um, now, because people won't really want to live across from here, um, I'm wondering... This is going to extend upwards, so what if... What if I extended this outwards? Something like that. Brought that up. And turned this into a new... I know there's a lot of redundant space. But because the overpass is going to come through it and demolish it at some point, we don't need to fill it up really. And it's just going to serve as a commercial area for the moment. Until we decide really on what the long term plan is. Then I wanted to keep this relatively open, so I will. I'll connect that there. That's this road will continue going down, and we'll slam in some greenery. You know, it's kind of a garden city that we're turning into here, but I'm a fan of it. It's a tree extravaganza! Yeah, the hippies will be loving that. Okay, so... We're doing alright. Except for water problems. Which we need to resolve. Looking good. Looking good. And we'll do the same here. Fill that middle gap with trees are plenty. That'll just help liven the place up a bit. And actually, you know, because no one can build there, we could actually expand expand on the park front nice so I'm beginning to think this might end up being a good area for our cargo terminal if I can figure out how to uh, probably get the, the rail line to come up under here and straighten up somewhere there, maybe, maybe. But that's a problem for another day. Right now the, the forestry is coming up, that's what we wanted to see. And it actually doesn't look too bad, I was expecting like some big sawmills and stuff, but I can live with something like this, I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, some pollution encroachment over here though, which I'm not finding very sexy. And we're starting to get some traffic issues again up here. Um, we'll monitor that. We'll monitor it. For now, let's get rid of these problem buildings. And we're having power problems again. So. Let's invest to solve that. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, not of, I'm not thinking about putting a coal plant there. That would not be good. Um, what can I do here, really? Uh, do you know what? No, it's too close to the green, really. Tell you what, let's try and find a spot for another wind turbine. As a temporary solution. Maybe we can sneak one in the forestry there. Yeah, that's 
that's sort of dealt with it for the moment. I mean, we are still going to continue to have problems, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, so demand for industrial remains high, but we've largely dealt with the commercial problem. And then our real issue... Our real issue is going to be... Expanding this forward to service the rest of the city. Um, as well as placing residential in, in a way that's not going to possibly be detrimental later. And we're starting to have garbage problems as well. It's all coming out of the woodwork now, kids. I wonder if building an industrial area here is far enough away from the ridge that it's not going to damage the land value, but I don't think that's necessarily the case. So what other in industry is there? Or Hmm. Can we have mining up here? It looks like an area you could mine. In generic industry. Um... Right, first things first, this up to here is Hala. And so's that, fuck it. That's our main district at the moment. That's as big as that's gonna get. Um we'll probably not have high rise here and let the high rise stuff sort of envelop it. Obviously the forestry is gonna be a <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a natural barrier actually to progression, but Never mind, we're going to worry about filling this square up first. Um, I'm thinking here for a cargo port, possibly. It looks it's close enough for getting down here into the industrial estate, so I'm guessing industry should be here, and then we build the city out across here, around it. It's not quite what I had in mind initially, but it's actually a surprisingly difficult map to plan for. Um, this here is going to be probably a little bit of redundant space just to keep clear of the city. Push this back. I forgot on what did we just decide? It was industry up here, wasn't it? Okay. Okay. Well, first things first, let's worry about residential. Um, I think now is the time where we're going to be entering the city proper. So I'm going to create an artery route up to here. That doesn't look great, but it does provide space for a turn off um, into sort of a, a residential block. that far enough away? I don't think it is. Oh, sod it, it'll have to do. So we'll bring this up like this. Of course that doesn't work. Does that? Yeah. Okay. So that can bugger off. And then we'll have I think this should be quiet enough because of its location. Because traffic should technically pass up here to get into the city. Um, and this will expand across to... I'm guessing really the city centre is going to end up being up here eventually. And this is all support infrastructure. Um, although, you know, as the city grows organically, it might be that that changes. I'm having trouble finding the right position. Can I... No, it's fighting me. Come on. No. Actually, I don't think it's necessarily a problem if it overlaps. I'm trying to be overly efficient here. Yeah, that, that could be good, actually. That could be good. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Once I've laid... water pipes.
Hmm, I've noticed we're spending our money pretty convincingly as well. Okay, so that's everyone serviced by water. I'm thinking of this being something that's necessary. Um, power lines. Tell you what, we'll slam that there for a moment. And we'll connect. This will all disappear organically, so just forgive me. But that'll all disappear on its own, because as buildings take the place of it. I don't think anything is small enough to fit in there, but we'll zone it up anyway. And in the gaps, as we have been doing, trees a go-go. Obviously there's no commercial in this area, but I think we can live with it. Um, I'm not sure if they're too far away from important stuff either. Um, we're going to need another garbage dump at some point, one connected to a busy road. But as this sweeps back under the freeway, we can have something over here, I think. We've still got a, walk a, a, wor a walker problem? No, a worker problem. Um, which is very real. I'm loving the trees. I'm spending a fortune on trees. You'd probably be tearing your hair out thinking, stop pissing about, wasting all your cash, but I will forget to do it later, and then you'll all be saying to me that it looks super barren and uninteresting, because I'm, I've never been one for an eye for decoration. I'm a utilitarian. Good. Okay, so that's beginning to fill up now. Um, I think I might spring the cash while I've got it for a health centre. Um, and a cemetery. Because dead people get to be a real problem. A very real problem. And the nearest one to the ridge... I th where do we have a cemetery, actually? I saw one. Probably all headbutting your desks right now because I'm super close to it or something. We have one somewhere. I know we do. I know we do. Didn't I put it somewhere along here? Oh, it's there. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably a. It was probably a smart move to place that one there. I think it was a kind of far away, to be honest. Um, is policing going to be a problem? Um, the fire brigade, possibly. Um, yes, actually, yes it is. And the one-way system's working against me there. We're going to have to have something that can respond a bit quicker. Can we squeeze something in? Hmm, we're going through our money as well, which I'm not happy about. I can go there. I think policing is less of an issue at the moment. So. No, that has commercial growing again, but I really, I don't want stuff going out of business again, so before I start pissing about adding more commercial stuff, I'm going to try and get, um, get a wee bit of industrial on the go, which I'm sort of planning to slam in, in a block, sort of here. Again, I don't really want to be messing around too close to the forest, I don't want to be poisoning the forests, if I cannot all help it. I'm trying to see how far the pollution kind of spreads. That land is fucked, isn't it? That might actually be a good question 
for you guys. If any of you have an answer, sum it below. If you don't, then I'll just do it my own way. But I'm thinking industrial here, and then gradually build up uh, a more regular looking city in this general direction before the city proper takes over this bank. And then actually I want to expand into some genuine rural communities out here as well. There's not really much financial incentive for doing that, but just indulge me. Um, so yeah, next steps, any names for things, any ideas that you've got, sum them below, give it a like, give it a dislike, do whatever you like. Um, lots of things to like. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, I've enjoyed, I absolutely love this game, and I will see you next time.